Hello, girlfriends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. So I'm sure as you're scrolling through Instagram, you'll see a lot of ads on there. So we thought it'd be interesting to try some of the products that we've been seeing on my Instagram feed. Now, the videos always look so good. I wonder how amazing they really are. This is supposed to be like an eyebrow extension. So it's basically like fibers. It helps give you that very full, bushy eyebrow look, which is very hard to achieve with just makeup. So addition of fibers can be very helpful. However, after looking at all the instructions and the numerous typos, I'm getting a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm really quite scared that my eyebrows will come off with it. On top, you have a brush. Inside, looks like this. Ooh, that really looks like hair. Ooh, this looks a bit gross. That smells really bad. A mixture of like glue and a Chinese medicine shop. Oh, but that looks quite real, I guess. Although, I feel like they would need to kind of be in the same direction. This is supposed to be, I'm assuming, like a template. Oh, I thought it was a bit small, but actually it's quite perfect. Take out some drain hair. Whoa! Okay, people, that really looks like hair. This looks so good! We were looking at it going like, where are the fibers? We don't know where the real hair starts and where the fake hair begins. It's crazy! It looks even better than brow embroidery. It looks better than a well-drawn brow. It just looks like I have very nice hairy eyebrows. With the drawn brow, you can see where the colour is. You can see the colour on the skin. Even if you use like those liquid eyebrow things to kind of like draw the individual hairs, I think you'd still be able to sort of like see the hair on the skin because you don't get that 3D effect. Whereas with this, it's completely 3D. It's like I grew a whole bunch of eyebrow hair. Actually, once the glue dries right, that thing sets. So now we come to the part that I'm actually very sad about. The glue smells really funky. That is kind of like scaring me a little bit because the type of glue that you use on your face and around your eyes is, it needs to be gentle. I don't have any assurance that this glue is safe to be putting it on my face on a long-term basis, even though I feel like I would absolutely love to because this looks Amazing. Of all the brow products I've ever tried in my life, this is the most realistic and the most amazing looking eyebrow I have ever gotten from any eyebrow product. So I'm really bummed that the glue smells so weird. What if I get an allergic reaction and then all my eyebrow hair falls off? Which I'm telling you, like with funky glue, you never know, okay? For the end effect, this is just phenomenal out of 10. But then in terms of like whether I'll actually use it, that glue is just a bit scary for me. So I would stay away from that. So I would give that a two. I'm open to being told that that is safe. Actually, I really want to be told that that is safe because ah, truly, best eyebrow product I've ever seen in my life. Please, someone tell me that that glue is okay to use. I would be so happy. If anybody has any information about this product and uh, it's maybe worked out well for you in the long term. Like, I would love to hear it because that would make me so happy. But I need to trust my gut. I need to trust myself. If it smells funny, I will not use it in the long term. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is the Body Love Addiction Pillow and I've seen it so many times. And the video is actually of this lady. She's got one of these, a tray of eggs and another one on top and she's just stepping all over it and the eggs don't crack. So I guess it's supposed to show that it's super soft but yet can still withstand pressure and impact. Apparently this pillow is supposed to be very comfortable and addictive so we're going to try it and see just how comfortable this is. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel like a sleeping pillow. It's a bit weird. You know how there were like three lumps? Now I can feel very clearly that I am on the second lump. Wait, let me simulate. I feel as though I must be using it wrong <laughs> because the video is like, wow, that must be amazing. How come I really don't like it? I would give it a one because it feels like a souped up travel pillow. It doesn't feel like it's meant for like night, night use. I can also sort of hear the, I can hear the beats moving a bit, but it's not bad though, it's quite soft. 
this is really quite difficult to tell so I'm going to try this for like the next week and uh, give a rating then. Morning! So it's uh, my first day using the pillow and it's actually not too bad. The funny thing is I woke up on this side of the pillow, not like the center. But this side actually feels alright. Good morning! So it's the second day using the pillow and I'm really not feeling it. Like my neck and my shoulders hurt. I don't know, but it's uncomfortable, supremely uncomfortable. Morning! So, um... I woke up like this. I am not a huge fan of this pillow. I don't feel like it gives any meaningful support. Maybe it's something that I would consider bringing on a plane or to set, but as a support pillow, I don't think that it really hits the mark for me. So yeah, I think a one. This is the TLM Color Changing Foundation and this has been all over my feet, like all over. And it looked quite exciting and promising. They have people of many different skin colours trying this out. So it goes on white and then they're blending it and it's like, wow, whoa. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, that is actually changing colour. The smell is very, very, very strong. It's like a very intense, like, jasmine smell. It really smells more like a soap than like a foundation. There is little to no coverage. Like, it's kind of um, blended out into tinted moisturiser, maybe? There is a kind of a white cast on my face. It's not a perfect match to my skin. If you're a colour-changing foundation, I would expect you to be, you know, a perfect match. It's close-ish. Um, I do like the finish on it in that it looks very healthy and quite dewy. The coverage is almost like nothing. The colour changing is negligible. The colour changes a little bit and then it shears out. The smell is... Personally, I find it quite uh, off-putting because it is very, very strong. To me, it doesn't smell like a foundation kind of smell. Overall, I think I would give this like maybe a one because the texture is quite nice. Yeah, but the smell is kind of... This is supposed to be a deep cleanser that helps to melt away all the makeup. Like in the video, they put makeup on the hand, then they covered it with the cleanser and they left it and the makeup started melting away together with the cleanser. So that looked promising. So it's supposed to be a cleanser that can remove all makeup, including waterproof makeup. I'm going to try using a few different types of makeup that have very good staying power. As it fell off, I saw some of the foundation falling off with it But if you look here, nothing's really moved Which is expected actually Because I don't understand how all the makeup is supposed to melt off With just it touching it And if it did, I'd also be a bit worried Unless it's like a formula that is made specifically for that product Then maybe they found a matching product that causes that chemical reaction But I can't imagine how it would do that with a whole bunch of different makeup from different companies. Let me see what happens if I apply some pressure on this. Oh wow, the eyeliner came right off. The eyeshadow is not moving, neither is the lipstick. There's still a fair bit of foundation left, which is weird because that should be pretty easy to remove. I feel like I'm not even going to bother trying this on my face. This is a disappointing out of 10. <laughs> this is Hollywood Nails. This is an all-in-one nail art system that gives you perfect alignment every time. You use your own polish, it works on your toes, and just four easy steps. It comes with these plates with designs on them. We've actually tried out these plates before a long, long time ago, but now it looks like they've made the application process a lot easier. In the video, the way they did it is like you just slide, you stamp, it comes out and it's like perfect. So, I wonder... <laughs> If that really works. Because I remember the last time when we tried it, it was a lot of scraping. Like need paint, scrape, You know, it's still fast, but it's not as fast as this. Super low hopes, but we'll see. We might be surprised. But it came with a whole bunch of plates with different designs. I'm going to go with this one. You place it here. So it's a paint here. Slide this back. There's a scraper that will clean that off. Pick it up. Slide it back and... What is that? It's just a 
<laughs> oh, wait, 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 I can see a bit of the flower. <laughs> when I pull it out here to stamp, it gives a pretty solid stamp on my finger. But it's on the wrong part of my finger. So when I push it back up to where I imagine would give it like the right point, the stamp just barely kisses the top of my nail, which wouldn't allow it to stamp. This is a very fail very waste of resources. The best thing about this kit are the free crystals. Because these are pretty. And they're quite generous with it as well. Maybe that's why they give so many. Because <laughs> they know the machine is a fail. <laughs> in the video, they made it look so neat and easy and it looks so good. Rating zero. No, not just zero. This is like a op minus 10. It's so terrible, nothing of nothing works. <laughs> okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost and where they're from, go to our description box, the links are all there. Or you can go to our tried and tested Facebook page. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Double tap, we love you very much. Now you just need to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out onto YouTube. Or just download the Click Network app and you'll be able to watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Double tap, love, double tap, double tap, double tap. Okay. Alright, till next time, Mwah! go be beautiful!